Hello guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to create realistic cliffs. Now I don't know about yourself but I've always found it very difficult to use the terraforming tool, certainly when it comes to making realistic cliffs. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you a few techniques I've learned along the way as well as the best textures and props to use to really make those cliffs pop. So on screen you can see a few little cliffs I've done in the waterfront. This is done by the terraforming tool. So as you can see, it's very, very round, very smooth, not really rock efficient in my opinion. But nonetheless, that method will work well for some builds, but in particular, I wanted to have a more harsh design, a lot more sharper cliff face. And during my experimentation, I've worked out a way, a nice little technique in doing so. So what you need to do, you need to jump onto the workshop and subscribe to the terraforming network by Ronix69. Now it's a simple case of pretty much just plopping these into the water, just as you would do with a standard road. And what you can do now is if you can see, each time I'm moving each node and moving the actual network itself, we're creating some very sharp and unusual shapes. These are a lot more rock efficient in my opinion. And the closer you push those nodes together, the more sharper and harsh the actual rock becomes. So a little bit of playing around, moving nodes around, and also adding on other sections to the network really does change the look of this. And I really think they look good as those sort of scattered cliffs, just broken apart from the main borders of the uh, the island. They, they work really well for that sort of look, which is kind of what I'm going for just here. And remembering, because these are networks, you can also raise up and down the nodes. So you can create a sort of high point rock and low point rock. Um, which again adds to the variance of this. You'll see you can lower one side right in the water like this, and you're getting a sort of triangular sort of point out the, uh, out the water, which really does look good. And as you can see here, this shape here is so unusual. You'd never get anything close to this using the terraforming tool. So it really does give some unusual shapes. And uh, when you're working on this sort of a scatterment of little cliffs and rocks, other than using actual rock props, this does just work wonders in my opinion. But that's not it. We're not finished yet. We need to make these rocks look good. And the way we're doing that is we're using Avania's cliffside packs. And boy, are these good. If you haven't tried these out yet, they are sensational. Not just in the method of what I'm doing here, but to add them to any texture, any, any sort of cliff or anything at all, they look so damn good. But what you need to remember is when you place these down, sometimes you need to rotate a few times to make sure that you're getting the best texture over the certain height that you're working with. But boy, do these look good. And not only are they available in this Dover white look, but Avania's got a large collection of these in a set, which you can see popping up now on the screen. And whilst you're looking, why don't you check out the rest of her assets and work? Because boy, does she do a lot for this community. Some excellent work on there, so make sure you check it out. Finally, in comparison, we can see the difference between the two types of rocks, one using Terraform, one using the network version. And if we just add a decal over here, the same way we've done it to these, you can see the difference already. It just, in my opinion, looks so much better. But that's not all. We can also use this technique to make amazing cliff faces. So rather than the boulder type cliff that we done in the water, we can also use it in this method to make some very sharp and really nice rigid looking cliff faces. So as we did before, we're gonna place down the terraforming network as close to the cliff face as possible with a little bit of overlap. Next, you need to tinker with your nodes to try and get them to align to the level of the terrain. And already you can see that the cliff face is a lot sharper than what it would be with the terraforming tool, which means that we can really, really get those steep looking cliffs looking really, really good. Now with this technique, the best way I've found to make the most realistic looking cliff faces is to have as many nodes as possible to be able to tweak. So the way we do this is the same way you would do if a road, and we're just gonna use the terraforming network to pull out some extra roads, well, extra parts from this original segment which then will allow us to have additional nodes once we delete them. Once you have your nodes available, it's time to get tweaking. And the best way I've found is to, first of all, move things around, get it into shape. And then if you slowly arch the segment one way and then the opposite way after, you get these really nice little nugs and little choppy bits inside the cliff face. And look at that. I mean, just from doing that, that's not a flat surface anymore. We've got some sort of cutouts. I mean, if you look at cliff faces, 
they're never very natural in their sort of weathering. Bits of cliff fall apart. Weathering takes place more in one area than another. So just tweaking these around, you can get these really nice sort of cutouts inside the cliff face, which in my opinion, look so much more realistic. And again, just like the previous method on the smaller cliffs, if you're a lot more aggressive with your actions with the nodes and the segments, you get a lot more beautiful looking cliff faces. So as you can see here, we've uh, managed to really pull this part out and then raised it up as well to create a completely different look to this cliff face. And now going back to Avania's sets, we can now plop some of these in. And the way I found to do it is not to cover it all up, depending obviously on your um, theme. We are using a theme that's very soon to be released by Mr. Miyagi. And already, I mean, look at the cliff face without even any of these um, Avania textures. They look really good anyway. Um, but what I found worked well with these white cliffs is just adding them in sort of in certain areas. In some of the grooves, it really makes that sort of look pop out. As you can see here, plopping this in here really gives that sense of this area, this part of the cliff is really popped out and uh, the gorges inside it look a lot more realistic. So you could go over the top and put it all over the cliff faces. I can't see that being an issue, but to give you an idea on what I am doing, I've done a variant of both of these. And not only does this work so well with the white cliff faces, you can do it with other ones as well. Depending on your theme, make sure you match up as best you can to Avania's sets. I guarantee you'll get one that's very similar. But other than that, guys, I hope this video has been of some help to you. And let me know how you're getting on with your cliffs. I'm off to do some more chiseling. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys, and all the best.